Hey guys, this is Starseed here and I'm back with another tarot video and this video is going to be about what is the karma for hurting you. So right now I'm just pulling out advice cards for each and individual pile so you guys can go ahead and skip ahead to your desired piles and I'm just going to go ahead and continue on with the shuffling. Alright. What is the advice for number um, 3 amethyst? <laughs> Pile number 4. Honestly, at least these advice cards are coming out good. Like, do you know how harsh these motherfucking cards are? Because, like, even they giving me some harsh-ass truth. And, like, it's like a wake-up call for me, too. So, from before. So, obviously, you know, this is well deserving of these people. Alright. Pile number five. Dude, pile number five, with Black Tourmaline being there, I already know this is going to be a shit show. So I feel like a part of your person's karma is that they're going to look like a shit show. Because it did. So the reason I put that advice card back was because sometimes I feel called to like put shit back and not actually display it. Because it's just like, no, there's another one. That will resonate more. Um, so unfortunately here I'm getting like, wow, I shouldn't be talking about this. I'm sorry. Like I should be focusing more on the life shuffle, including your person's karma. But, um, yeah, I feel like your person's karma because they made you, like, suffer a lot, I feel. Like, they really made you stuck in your head. Because even your advice card is saying, get the fuck out of your head, get more in your heart because it misses you. So whatever this person did, I feel like as if this person even gaslighted you about a couple of things, unfortunately. Thus, you were more stuck in your head being, like, in a state of confusion. That's why their karma is going to be, they're now going to be stuck in their head as well as look like a shit show. Alright, go ahead and pull out the karma for, that's coming on for pound number one, Amazonite. Pound number two, ooh. pound number two, what is their karma? Yo! These are great- Oh, people aren't gonna like this shit. <laughs> I mean, in the sense of like, people like to hear more so about, you know, revenge and um, vengeance for themselves, but pound number three. But sometimes spirit wants you to focus on your good karma, so they don't really want to you to focus or give another thought to the person you're inquiring about, because you know in the end you'll most likely be happier than them or in a better state of finances as well. <laughs> pound number four. I only said that because the six of pentacles came out. Pound number five. Damn. These are gonna be quick readings. Um, I know I usually do like hour long videos um, because I like getting more of the story and you know people appreciate that as well, you know, to get all the details and facts including the advice cards. But sometimes I feel as it, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm gonna do me, but I like to be considerate of, like, the people that help me create this channel as well as and support it as well. Like, I don't like to just think about myself and what, you know, I want to go ahead and produce content for. Like, if any of you guys have certain karma topic ideas, like, karma for your narcissistic sibling, karma for your narcissistic parents, um, I can go ahead and upload another one. Because, you know, I don't mind hearing out suggestions as well as, um, you know, your ideas as well. Like, maybe you guys want to hear, because um, maybe I've been accurate for you, so maybe you want to hear about another love reading in terms of what's next in love, or, you know, just um, blessings on the way as well. So feel free to go ahead and comment your um, topic suggestions as well. I don't mind hearing them out as well as, you know, you guys helping me in terms of with this channel as well. Because I, I pretty much do this channel on my own. So sometimes I'll get called out for the title not being right, but sometimes I just copy and paste from my notes. So even the pile numbers, like I have those like in my notes as well, and then I'll just copy and paste it and then list the timestamps. So really, it's just a one-man band here, alright? So I'm doing this all on my own, so I appreciate those who actually tell me if the timestamps are wrong, as well as the title being off, because, you know, that does happen and I don't notice it because, you know, it's just me so i'm not saying that um 
you know, I obviously don't have others around me, but in terms of this channel, yes, this is the, this is the only me working on this. So what is our karma for hurting you, pile number one? I honestly want to pull out all three of these cards because this is in alignment to the karma that you're about to receive. And I mean your good karma, right? Not, you know, it doesn't really want you to focus on this person or these people that hurt you. Pile number two? What is their promo for hitting my time over here? I'll take that. You know what? I'm gonna take this one. <laughs> Alright, problem three. Damn, there's a lot coming out, so I'll just put that there. But I'm only supposed to get one card, so pile number four? I just don't want to overdo it with the readings, you know? I want this to be quick, short. Um, I know I can just do it with one tarot card too, but I really like having the backup messages in terms of like clarification, you know? Like I said, a lot of tarot readers aren't gonna agree with, you know, me doing the hour long readings, me doing, um, switching out my different styles as well as only doing karma. But like I said, you guys, like I'm not the only tarot reader to exist. I'm not the only Celtic druid priestess to exist. I'm not the only, um, literally tarot reader on this platform as well as the fellow high priestesses here so it's just like you know you can go ahead and check them out too they're really a lot of like tarot readers are really amazing and gifted on this channel and they're really in great support of one another like seriously like i get it some can be attention seeking obviously doing 180s on their channels you know but it's just like the majority of people on this platform are really genuine in terms of helping one another including raising the vibration for the collective so you know, you should definitely go ahead and check out the other tarot readers um, that are on this platform as well as support them, you know? And like and comment, subscribe to them as well, you know? It's not easy getting off, starting off like as a tarot reader either. Especially when a lot of people call into question your readings, call into question your integrity, you know? And it's just like a constant battle of having to defend yourself to people that I'm sorry, <laughs> to people that don't even give a shit about tarot to begin with. They just want to go ahead and trigger and provoke. So it's just like, if you don't really believe in this stuff or, you know, um, follow my messages, then why are you here on this tarot channel and watching? It's because either you're a f hater, in reality, you're my biggest fan, or, you know, you're just here to spread your negativity and from your scorned energy. So, you know, go ahead and keep that to yourself. I'm not gonna put these bad energies on here. I know people can be like, oh, well, your karma readings are next. They're karma readings, people. Have you not seen the comments and the stories that happen of like, you know, um, a woman's family member, I, I believe a woman's husband literally slept with her goddaughter or her, um, her niece. Like, do you know how fucked up that is? Thus, she's going ahead and coming to my channel to acquire the karma that's to come for him. So it's like, it's not all sunshine and rainbows in people's lives. Like, despite what they show you on the outside, someone's life can be crumbling all around them. But they know that the good things are going to be coming their way, as well as having faith and gratitude for the daily lessons. You know, unfortunately, it's like not deserving of her to even receive that. It's just a disgusting, narcissistic man that's literally involved himself in that family, thus taking advantage of trust and loyalty. And, you know including naiveness so no karma readings aren't supposed to be just based on blessings karma readings are actually to go ahead and pe give people more of a peace of mind i get it a lot of people will be like well you know how's that giving people peace of mind if you know they're so negative and you know it's like the energies are bad okay that's them receiving the clarity because who said the truth was beautiful you know who said the truth was going to be a big warm embrace no sometimes the truth is straight up ugly it's horrifying it's terrible but it depends on how you want to see things for what it is but instead of living in the delusional world that the majority of you do live in it's time to get a grip on reality you know sometimes the real world is beautiful and sometimes the real world is ugly it depends how we maneuver through it it depends how we grow from it 
It depends what we learn from it. It depends if we're going to repeat the same cycles or not. It depends if we're going to go ahead and fall for the same traps as we did once before. Did we grow up from them? Did we learn from them? Because if not, then you're going to find yourself repeating the same goddamn cycles every year. So, with me, I, um, you know, I found out about our generational family curse in terms of what my parent has done. And I'm not saying my parent's evil or, you know, the devil. I'm just saying my parent has really fucked up in life with a lot of people. Thus, the karma has passed on to his children, unfortunately. So, you know, me, I've really kept to myself as well as, you know, um, continuously growing and prospering in terms of my education and my career because, you know, I understand that it's not my time yet in terms of relationships and I don't really trust friendships because if I even made a video about that shit, you guys would be such in shock about the real shit that was going down between me and the majority of my friends and, you know, the hidden truths. And then you would actually be like, okay, yeah, I see why you cut that bitch off. So, you know, that's just me personally um, and my choice. So in terms of, like, you know, relationships, I entertain it once in a while, but I don't really like to stick to it because of that. So I just like to go ahead and you know, continuously focus on myself. I already know a tarot reader has informed me that it's okay to literally jump into a relationship now or, you know, go after what I want since the curse has, like, been uplifted for me because I broke it and, like, I went ahead and um, relieved a little bit of the curse in terms of it's not going to affect me anymore but more so my other siblings, so no longer is it going to be able to touch me nor am I going to experience that same karma as them. So, you know... I'm a little traumatized because of that, <laughs> but, you know, I'm really appreciative of the tarot reader that g did give me that reading and the clarification because I didn't think anyone was going to tell me about it or call me about it, and then when she started discussing about it, I was like, and she's like, it's okay to, like, be in love now, and I'm like, holy shit, it's okay to be in love now, like, I can, like, not only can I have my education and shit together, but it's just like, I can go ahead and be in a relationship. So that's really great to hear because like, I'm not going to lie to you, <laughs> maybe I'll make a video on it separately but if you were to know about like the, the karma my other siblings have experienced, I don't even associate myself with them by the way so please if you know you'd be like oh that's you know his sister or her sister, no don't, don't. Their words and actions are theirs alone and my words are and actions are mine alone so you know in terms of whatever I do don't associate me with them. You know, whatever I say or whatever I do is mine is my sword to fall on alone. And whatever they say and whatever they do is their sword to fall on alone, alright? That's why I actually relieved myself from the curse because I'm not even associated with them either. So that's a really great thing, to be honest. <laughs> and you know, if you gotta do that, honestly, the best spiritual glow up is cutting off toxic people. Whether that's a toxic environment, toxic um, siblings, toxic parents. And you know, be aware that you will develop narcissistic traits. It's not pretty, it's not a great thing to face, it's not a great thing to be accountable for because it's the realization that, you know, sometimes you can become the people you want to avoid, you know, and you do develop their traits in order to become, you know, as hard as them or, you know, to go ahead and treat the world how essentially it treated you. But, you know, you're only becoming more like them rather than your authentic self. So, you know, it's really good to go ahead and call yourself out for your own shit in terms of own facing accountability for what you've said and done, including, like, diving deep into your shadow side and, and you know, doing that shadow work healing. If any of you don't know how to do shadow work healing, um, please go ahead and do your own research in terms of how to do shadow work healing because, shat okay, working on your shadow side is not having a double personality, nor is it, like, your secret sociopathic or psychopathic side. No, your shadow side is literally like the negative traits and aspects you push down as well as hide because you know that if, I don't know, maybe your fear of being judged, maybe, you know, you're disappointed in yourself for having, like, maybe um, you could be having healthy anger rather than rage, but people really associate you with being violent, but you're not like that at all, you know? You're not limited to your bad days. You just have to like go ahead and control your emotions as well as your anger. 
many people can't control their emotions and anger. That's why they project onto you like, oh, she's going to explode. Like, oh, she's going to crack one day or she's going to break. Like, no. All right. A lot of people are mature enough to go ahead and handle themselves. Maybe that says more about you than it does about the individual you're talking shit about. So pull your fucking shit together rather than shitting on the individual. Like, call yourself out first before you call somebody out. So pound number four. But yeah, if you got a generational curse on you too, cut those bitches off. I'm sorry for calling my siblings bitches. But in terms of endearment, but it's just like, seriously, like you're gonna notice like a big difference in your life. Like a hella big difference. Like whether that's being happier, um, more self-fulfilled, as well as acknowledging the bullshit that they bring into your life. Like my siblings suck. I'm not gonna lie to you. They fucking suck. And if you're watching this, I'm really sorry, but I, I don't fucking like you either. So go ahead and consider me a shit sibling, but it's just like, remember how you guys treated me first, and then now you guys want to like go ahead and be buddy buddy, like no thank you. Ooh, fuck, pound number five. <laughs> Alright, that's it. So let's get started with the reading. So, I don't know if I should put these piles away, or... I'll just move them forward. <laughs> Alright, pile number one. Amazonite. This is one of your person's karma for hurting you. You have the lovers. You have transformation. And you have that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. Hey, this could be my pile. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you have the lovers here. You have transformation. You might even want to go ahead and check out the last karma pick a card reading I did. Not the general ones, but pile number five. Um, but yeah, you're getting in a fucking union ship. So whether that's with your soulmate, you know, in terms of friendship or your romantic partner, that... Because you guys are meant to come together, like, I feel like you guys have been separated for so long, or you guys haven't been, um, together in connection, unfortunately, because people have been trying to, I don't know, wow, I'm getting a really fucked up energy from this, but people wanted to block your blessing, so in terms of, like, they didn't want you two to have each other. So, that could really be, yeah, this could be, this is a soulmate card, essentially, so this could either be romantic, um, platonic, so, or, um, Maybe a new venture. So take that into consideration. Not everything has to be romantic related. You know, let's be all realistic rather than being focused on that world. <laughs> um, but with the lovers here, yeah, you're getting into a union ship. So whether that's in terms of career, you know, finding your community. But this is overall finding, like, literally your counterpart. So congratulations. And this is your person. Because that person, that project, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. So maybe this person wants you to make the first move. Because they're nervous. I don't know why you make this person fucking nervous. But they really... <laughs> um, I think they just noticed you went through this huge transformation. So they don't really know how to get back into your life. They don't really know how to jump back in. Um, or, you know, this could be... This is sometimes separated from the both of you, like I said. Like, you really did have people trying to block your blessings. And, you're, you know, you guys were each other's blessings, unfortunately. Uh, and I mean, unfortunately, because people found out or people could notice that. And then, thus, they wanted to separate you two. So, that's in terms of, like... I kind of feel like it's that situation where you guys would have been a power couple. Or you guys would have been, like, the perfect um, partnership or the duo. And, you know, people got jealous of that because then they realized, like, I feel like another partnership or another friendship realized, oh, I want that person. Oh, I want that person, too. So, fuck. Um, they decided to separate you both because it's just like, oh, at least when they're separate, at least we can have our person that we wanted, you know? Instead of you guys, the real soulmates, being together, unfortunately. So they just wanted to keep you separate. But they noticed that you went through this huge transformation, whether you're a man or a female. You know, energies are energies at the end of the day. But, um, yeah, you guys are literally gonna, 
you guys have literally grown up a lot and learned from your lessons as well. Thus, like, you're literally having a higher vibrational as well as, um, I feel as if you have, like, an amber or blue aura. So congratulations on your healing. And your amber, healing is never ending. It's an endless job, right? No matter what. Because at the end of the day, like, I know metaphorically I talk about knives and, um, cut, you know, cutting people. And I mean so in, like, cutting off the relationship, not, like, crazy ass bitches shanking each other i'm sorry but you know you are kind of crazy if you go in that mindset unfortunately but i understand when people like get their revenge in terms of that so you know those are two separate situations but yeah congratulations um but like in terms of like people will always betray you and i'm not saying i'm not cursing you i'm not literally calling this into your life but I'm saying that, you know, at times you will have, you know, people to go ahead and betray you in terms of your trust or, you know, confidences as well as like, blocking you from your blessings, unfortunately. So, you know, that's why healing is a never ending job, because the higher you vibrate, you will notice people being envious of that as well as you leveling up. So congratulations, pound number one, because you really transformed and, you know, you will continue to transform continue doing healing and you know move forward but yeah you, you're either the, yeah, like i said either this is a new business project or career field or this is literally getting into a partnership so whether this is like your soulmate duo in terms of like being in that high level friendship or you know getting that um that friend that literally vibrates on the same energy level as you or literally it's a romantic partnership so congratulations that's your karma i mean that's your person's karma in terms of like you're gonna get what you ever you want as well as you're transforming through it pound number two we have jasper you need a big fucking hug squeeze man um if you really don't have anyone around you to give you a big ass fucking hug in terms of what you've gone through what you experience please go ahead and hug yourself like and i know that's a little sad to say but if you are alone and you know you really don't have anyone to go ahead and comfort you it's okay to like comfort yourself but we have victory here my dear so you are literally going to win you're literally going to be happy you're literally going to be surrounded by a well community as well as being prosperous in life like it's kind of like you won in this situation, so whatever this person had decided to do to you, whether it was, um, this could be love related, cause, you know, this red jasper is the root chakra, so it does more focuses on, um, <laughs> the root chakra, I don't really want to go into it, so that's pretty obvious if, you, if you're into spirituality, but in terms of like, this could have been like a sexual connection that you had with another individual, thus I feel like, I don't know if this individual, um, put you in a third party or some sort or you know just i feel bad for saying this but it's the message that's coming from spirit i feel really bad don't hate me <laughs> um like okay i won't say it fuck it i i feel like even the viewers like please don't say it so i won't fucking say it but damn um but still you're gonna win um you're gonna be victorious you're gonna be happy and you know you're gonna have um people around you and support of you as well so you know Congratulations, as well as being the winner and the victorious one in this situation. What additional karma? Yeah, you're gonna literally rejoice in celebration. Three of Cups, you're literally going to be happy, you're literally going to be celebrating, you're literally going to, like, I don't know if you're, um, got a new career, if you you know, are happy within the new field that you're in, or, you know, you're just making big moves, but congratulations and be proud of yourself, you know, this, I feel like the individual, um, that hurt you can't even do that shit, like, you're pro- <laughs> you can't even do the shit that you do, they can't even be on your level, all right, so congratulations, my pal number two, you're victorious, six of wands energy, you're, like, literally, it's all about victory in this card as well as celebration, and people having your back, so- Make sure you celebrate as well as take care of yourself and treat yourself a little, you know? Congratulations and be proud of that. Pound number three, Amethyst. Ooh, 
Oh, someone's gonna shut the fuck up. Someone is gonna shut the fuck up. And I mean that in terms of... Okay, your advice card is stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You are missing some cool shit. Holy fuck. We have six of pentacles here, so this talks about all about um, finances as well as the judge. Um, fairly ruling a situation, and we have throat chakra. So I feel like as if, like, someone's gonna take your favor in a court case, like, literally, someone's gonna... Someone's gonna really judge you fairly in this case in terms of whatever's happened and I feel as if you could be like really um, energy drained from the situation that's occurring around you or maybe this court case in general but I'm seeing you're gonna win because your person is literally um, like the judge is really <laughs> ruling your in your favor rather than the other person that hurt you so with this I feel as if like you know, your truth's gonna come out and, you know, you're gonna be able to speak whatever's happened. So, you know, speak the truth and only the truth because if you don't, then you're literally going to be more screwed than you would have thought. So don't fake it, you know, speak the fucking truth. Don't lie. Because Archangel Ariel is really present in this pile I'm feeling. So like I said, when this Archangel um, appears energy-wise, if you can feel him or, you know, if you understand angelic energies as well. But with this, it's just like Archangel Ariel allows us to open um, our chakra and only in order to go ahead and speak our truth as well as to guide us. So, you know, I speak my truth and only the truth is the affirmation he really provides to us. As well as, you know, if you don't speak your truth and, you know, you unfortunately lie, the divine will catch you and then send Archangel Ariel in order to shut you the fuck up. You know, like really shut you the fuck up because if you can't speak the truth, then you're not going to speak at all. So, what I'm saying, oh god, this is turning to like a spiritual lesson and karma reading, so I'm sorry. Um, but overall, you're going to be ruled favor, <laughs> like, it's, you're literally, you're gonna, you're gonna be in the right of the situation, and the other person's literally gonna have taken, everything's gonna be taken away from them. So, you know, if you literally haven't been seeing this person's karma, or, you know, haven't inquired about this person's karma yet, yeah, you gotta stop sleeping and being in rest so damn much, because you're gonna miss out on some cool shit, or this person's karma. Pile number four, solid- okay, my computer's gonna die, hold on. Alright, pile number four, solid eye. Queen of Wands, heartache and loss, and step away from the crazy making diet- oh shit, this might be mine. Um, step away from the crazy making diet for a hot second, kale and spirulina tastes like ass. Eat some yummy shit, bacon, chocolate, beer, and get some. It's time to fucking treat yourself by pile number fours. All right, but you and me are standing in our fucking power. You are on your throne, you fucking queen bee. You are an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fiery woman. Do you hear me? So congratulations on being on your throne, being in your intuition, being the passionate leader you are, being successful. You know, I've been seeing like a lot of my, um, my past classmates actually really achieve great things. So, you know, if you're literally watching me from, um, if you know me from the past, congratulations. Like, I feel weird commenting on people's shit because, like, you know, it's been so long. But it's just like, you know, be proud of yourself for your achievements, you know, your awards, including your wins, you know? Not everyone can achieve that. Not everyone can do that. So the fact that you're on your own path, you're achieving what you need to achieve, and you're doing the great things that are you're meant to achieve, like, I'm proud of you. Be proud of yourself. And I hope you celebrate as well as you know, treating yourself to some good shit, like chocolate beer and yummy things. Like me, like, a lot of people, like, kind of hate on what I, like, treat myself out with in terms of snacks. They're just like, what the fuck? But it's just like, okay, like, come on, like, like, at the end of the day, that's my likes and interests, you know? We're both different people. <laughs> but look, Queen of Wands, you're literally gonna stand in your power, you're literally gonna be the boss bitch that you are, you know? Girl, gay keep... <laughs> Oh my god, I feel like it's that saying, girl gatekeep, girl boss, don't gaslight, don't, don't gaslight people, I don't agree with that shit. So don't gaslight, gatekeep, and girl boss, and be the bad bitch that you're meant to be. You're standing in your power, you're literally being everything that you ever wanted, so you know, you're literally getting confidence, you're literally, and I feel like with this, your solar plexus chakra is alive, in terms of like, having that confidence and glow as well, so it's just like, you know, you don't have to wear colors to show that you're literally vibrating high, you know? It just shows, like, in your energy as well as your physical appearance. So, you know, own that shit. Girl boss, gatekeep, don't gaslight. 
yeah, I, that's really going to come back to bite you in the ass in terms of, like, your soul. So, stop. Because, like I said, when you don't... Oh, shit, this isn't... Sorry, you're not from pile number four. But if you are, hey, this is an add-on. But Throat Chakra actually came up in pile number three. So, it's just, like, Archangel Ariel is really present in that reading. So, in terms of, like, if you don't speak your fucking truth, he actually comes into your life to shut you the fuck up. And, you know, to make sure you never speak um anything out of your mouth and because you can't speak the truth for anything so he will literally like block that chakra in order for you to never open your fucking mouth because if you can't say the truth then why say anything at all if you're gonna go ahead and keep up lies and manipulation but you my dear you i feel like you call out that shit too you're like me like you don't fucking take that stupid shit like when somebody wants to lie to my face it never it always pisses me off because it's just like and I always love when narcissists do that because it's just like, how are you getting mad at me for calling you out for gaslighting as well as lying and manipulating? And then they're just like, and then they play victim. And it's just like, no, you don't get to play victim, you know? Like, if I call you out on that shit, own up to it. You can't hide anymore. You can't be the stunted child that you are. Own it. You know, if you owned it for however long you were keeping up that lie, What's wrong with owning up to that, the truth for once? And, you know, it only takes five minutes. But people can't do that because they think they're so fucking smart. But honestly, we just see right through you. And, you know, we just laugh at your fucking face at the end of it. Because it's just like you think you're getting away with shit. As well as being a gaslighter and manipulating and lying. And in reality, like, as soon as you think you got away with it, you know, being in the five stars energy. We, like, fall for it for a minute. And then we, like, look at you like... Alright, can you just stop fucking lying already? Like, bro, this is getting old. Like, you think it's- you You think you're smart. You're not fucking smart. You realize you're just a crook. You're just a fucking deceitful individual. You're not anything. You're just running when it, actually you feel less than whole. So, Crosswatcher, leave my pal number four is fucking alone because this girl is being a fucking girl boss. A boss bitch. Congratulations, my pal number four. Literally step away from a crazy making diet. It's time to get back into the good shit, alright? It's time to go ahead and treat ourselves. No more with the fucking vegetables. I mean, obviously eat healthy, you know? But it's just like, if you want to go out and fucking have a burger or, you know, treat yourself out to some fast food, go do that shit, you know? Do what you love. But yeah, this person um, is going to be in great heartache and loss over you. So this person is literally going to be in the Three of Swords energy. And they're <laughs> they're not going to know how to recover from this shit. Um, let me go ahead and get the sun signs you're actually dealing with. If you don't mind me asking. What sun sign is going to be heartbroken over um, my pound number four? And you have Aquarius. So an Aquarius is literally going to be heartbroken over you because I don't know. I feel like they just fucking lied on your name or something like that or just an awful person around you. But this person is going to be in the Three of Swords. So while you're going ahead and achieving all that you need to achieve, this Aquarius here can go ahead and suck a dick because you're on your fucking way onto the top. You're successful. You're succeeding. And this person literally has to have their heart broken into a million of pieces over watching you glow up. This person feels less than fucking whole, and you, my dear, are, oh my god, it's like you're cursed by your fullness, alright, you're cursed, okay, I understand Queen of Cups all talks about self-love, as well as being nurturing and caring, but, you know, this doesn't always have to be in terms of tarot, so this could be energetic-wise, including the downloads I'm getting, but literally, it's just like you, yourself, you're loving as well, you know, the queen, everyone sees the Queen of Wands as sometimes aggressive, including um over emotional but no she's just really passionate and you know if you really can't see that it it depends on what they're talking about okay if they're just talking about a fucking i don't know like a sh like a i really don't want to use an awful example so i'd really like to use an example for the age rangers i'm actually um providing these readings for so it's just like you don't complain about stupid shit. You actually address the big things. And a lot of people, you know, consider you to be aggressive as well as, you know, um, very hateful and, you know, angry. But it's just like, come on. Like, how are people not waking up to these fucking problems? How are people not seeing these issues at hand? 
how is this just really going under the radar so you know you call that shit out and you know this this person could never have the balls to do that this person can't but you do you use your intuition as well as your leadership skills this person could never this person really is beneath you. That's why they're going to be in heartbreak and loss. So not only that, while you're literally leveling up, this person's going to have to stay wherever they're fucking stuck at and not grow at all. I even feel like this person's literally going to be in such deep heartbreak that they're literally not even going to personally grow from the dark shadow period they're about to enter. Like, this person's going to be the same individual, playing the same mind games, and playing the same shit. So, you know, just leave them to their fucking graveyard and, you know... Rise above where you're meant to rise above, my dear. Girl boss, gatekeep, don't gaslight. <laughs> Alright. Yo! Yes! Dude, the fucking... Yo, I understand my pals are gonna be a little upset that it's like, ah, oh, you know, like... I really wanted to hear, like... I go check out the other readings, alright? This, this is a great karma reading. Come on, people. Like, this is, like, the good shit. Your good karma, you know? Like, it's allowing you to okay you don't want to know why it focuses mainly on your good karma too because it doesn't want you to give this person or these people a second thought it wants you to really go ahead and prosper move from the pain let go and go ahead and release any negative emotions that's really anchoring you down rather than lifting you up so it's just like i understand a lot of people will be like oh you know i really wanted to see them get hurt and i already know the majority of the people you inquired about got their ass beat so you know or they're about to get their ass beat so just leave it to the karma itself to take care of it as well as the universe but other than that you know like this is great you guys i'm really proud of you if you guys have done been doing the healing work shadow work including you know holding yourself accountable like in terms of like you know like when you actually detach yourself from a narcissist as well as um, are surrounded by certain narcissistic individuals, you do develop their traits, you know, you do develop their habits. So it's just like, it's our job at the end of the day to go ahead and be like, oh shit, like, that's kind of similar to what he or she does. So, you know, it's just like, okay, well, how can I go ahead and fix that within myself as well as to become a better person? So it's like, look, at the end of the day, we're all not going to be 100% perfect. We're not fucking robots, you know, we're all human. But, you know, it is our job to go ahead and be better. And it's like, it's our job to go ahead and have a better sense of empathy. And despite what our environment has taught us. So, you know, if our environment has literally been filled with narcissists, as well as, you know, being filled with cold emotions, like, it's our job to go ahead and become better than that, you know? It's like, instead of um, looking towards certain individuals to become your idols, it's like, what do you not want to become like and how can you avoid becoming that in terms of okay what do I need to change what do I need to work on as well as how do I need to go ahead and better myself personally as well as um, in my real life as well so take that into consideration pound number five black tourmaline Jesus am I surprised about what the fuck's to come this one um, you have the ace of cups <laughs> yeah get the fuck out of your head get in your heart it misses you um, you're, I'm honestly seeing your person cry. Like, I'm honestly seeing your person break the fuck down. I don't know, you know, this could be you. I don't know. Take the energy as vice versa, as I said, cross watcher. But this person literally already had a breakdown, if that makes you feel better. And I'm not saying that in the sense of, like, you know, them being a tarot reader and acquiring about energies and feeling that energy through. No, this is more so, like, this person got exposed and this person literally had a mental breakdown and then they literally um, cried their ass off. So like this person, cause it said like, I really feel bad for saying that. <laughs> but, hold on. Ooh, yeah, you need to get the fuck out of your head immediately and get more in your heart. And I, I understand black tourmaline is definitely a disgusting energy in terms of the person you're dealing with. So, you know, this is more about their, about how they were treating you. As I said, this person could have gaslighted you, um, because it literally said, um, it doesn't have to be in terms of you, but it literally said, like, you know, you look like a shit show. It's time to get yourself together in terms of, I don't know whether that's about 
you know, maybe you haven't been personally taking care of yourself. Maybe this person has really affected you, like affected you in terms of like you not really um, taking care of your looks. And I'm not saying you literally have to go in society looking a hundred percent, or you know, like a fucking like how how a lot of people expect other people to look like fucking like we're all fucking Abercrombie models walking in the fucking streets. No, all right, it's okay to fucking walk out in sweats. And be comfy, alright? You don't live for anybody, you only live for yourself. So, you know, at the end of the day, if you want to go ahead and dress however you want to dress, you do that shit. Because everyone's going to have a fucking stupid-ass opinion, but at the end of the day, they're, they're rotating, like, the same khakis. So, <laughs> sorry if I called somebody out, but it's the truth. <laughs> but you're, so not only did they really have a breakdown, but you're literally going to be gifted, like, a brand new beginning or um, a couple of, like, I literally feel like this could be a brand new beginning in terms of career field or a brand new beginning in terms of relationships. So whether that's a friendship coming in or a romantic relationship, you know, it depends on everyone's situation is different. I like to go ahead and throw out everything in terms of what's coming through as well as the possible outcomes because not only that, but it's just like, I don't know the viewer's situation as well as their environment or their life. So it's just like, you know, whatever I say is more into relation for the general collective rather than one singular individual. But you're gonna really have some positive movement forward from the situation. Like, with, um, I feel like this is like the Eight of Swords and Four. No, this is the Eight of Wands, my bad. Because, like, the red um, border obviously signifies fire. But yeah, you're gonna be really happy as well as, you know, you're gonna be really loving yourself. So, really taking care of yourself, um, and including having the brand new beginnings coming your way. So, you're just gonna be really happy, my pal number five. Yeah, you're gonna get the fuck out of your head, you're gonna get more in your heart, you're gonna go ahead and do the healing work you gotta do, you're gonna go ahead and pamper yourself, you're gonna go ahead and take care of yourself, so if you haven't been taking care of the best care of your hygiene in terms of like maybe you've been a little bit depressed, it's time to get up off that bed, it's time to go take that shower, and I'm not saying like, I hope that anybody doesn't take offense to that, but it's just like, you know, many people that are depressed really lack taking care of their hygiene due to them um, experiencing really lies, low, I'm sorry, high and low episodes in their life. So it's just like, you know, be in consideration of that if anyone is going through depression in your family. So, you know, instead of just calling that shit out, just, you know. But, um, what else am I getting from this? So not only that, but it's just like, if maybe if you aren't experiencing this, then definitely the individual that you're inquiring about is about to experience that, so to their karma to come you know take the energy as vice versa unfortunately as i always say but yeah you're definitely going to be gifted a brand new beginning so whether that's in terms of a relationship or in terms of a career but you're it, this is definitely going to be more of a positive moment for it so congratulations like new beginnings are on the fucking horizon like i'm not saying like nothing's easy that you've gone through i did see that this person did gaslight you unfortunately because you know this person wanted you to be in a state of confusion um person's really fucking manipulative so be careful of them because like i said a lot of people narcissists like to play victim a lot in terms of getting called out on their shit so it's just like if a person gaslights you manipulates you and lies about you when you confront them or you know you address them with the truth and they tell you oh no but in reality they know or what they fucking did then they're very narcissistic including covert narcissistic so be aware of these individuals because they will lie their ass off in order to live on the triumph of lies that they themselves have created their own false throne on, thus feeling empowered by it. But at the end of the day, once those lies get uncovered, not only is that throne going to be demolished, but they're going to be demolished. So let's go ahead and get fucking sun signs for this one. Who is the sun sign that fucked with my pal number five? Wow, I didn't get any sun signs for the other one, so I hope nobody takes that personally. I've been dealing with karmic Pisces for a fat minute. I, you water signs are really diabolical at this point. Like, wow, what the fuck? <laughs> See, I even in the last reading pick gen like the actual pick a card I did. I even wanted to pull out additional sun signs because I'm like, you know, I shouldn't just be pulling out one sun sign. You know, that's that's like really specific and like. You know, the viewer might be dealing with another sun sign, so let me pull out more. And then I kept getting Cancer, I kept getting Scorpio, I kept getting the planetary aspects that represented the water sign, so I'm just like, 
I can't. I'm just, I'm sorry. People are gonna think I'm shitting on water signs, but damn, you're just proving me right, y'all. Um, you also could be like, mm. so we have Pisces and Libra, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, these are the people you could be dealing with. Oh my god, we have Cancer on the bottom as well. So, congratulations, these people are going to be looking like a shit show as well as being gaslighted right back. Because, guess what? You literally, like I, okay, this is a actually a funny story. And I know it's pretty fucked up, so if any of you know me, including the girl that personally I'm about to talk about, I apologize, but this is the perfect example. So, you literally get back the energy you give out. So, it's like... One time my coworker got beat up by her ex-boyfriend, you know, she got in the car and he wasn't in the best uh, mental state, unfortunately. You know, she would tell me about him and like, she got in the car with him and he literally locked the doors and then he just started beating her. And then, um, you know, we, I just joined the job. So it was just like, you know, I was getting to know her and she had confessed that to me because one day she came in and she literally was wearing glasses and I'm like, hey, like, is everything okay? And then she's like, no, like, my boy, my ex, like, beat me the fuck up. Like, he's, like, really unstable. And, like, you know, it is it is true. Like, there are, you know, and I'm not saying, like, oh, people that are aggressive, like, or angry are unstable. No, it's just, like, there's more to the backstory, I understand, of that. But it's just, like, to resort to physical violence when there is no threat, that's the issue. If it's in self-defense to where you literally have to physically fight someone, then do so, you know? That literally is your right. What are you gonna do? Sit there and take it? Okay, hold on. Okay, but back to the story. So then my two other coworkers came up to her and said, oh, he really like beat your ass, huh? And then they laughed at her face. And like, and then I had to step in and be like, why the fuck would you say that to her? Like, what the fuck did you gain from it? Because saying that to somebody who just got their ass beat by someone they, you like, I'm sorry for using that phrase and like that sentence in general but somebody who just got beaten by their ex why would you even think to say that like and i get it you know immature we're immature we didn't know at the time oh like da -da -da -da. we were just playing like so you're telling me if someone gets beat up you're literally gonna go to that up to that person and be like damn he really gave you a good asshole like what the fuck like you get me so it's just like so what happened to that girl that made fun of the, um, my acquaintance that got beat up by her ex? She got beat up by her ex. Literally, she got beat the fuck up by her ex. So it's just like, you get the energy what you give out. So it's just like, you know, if you want to go ahead and trifle on a bitch, the bitch is going to trifle back on you in terms of like, it might not be the person that you originally hurt. But it might be someone close to you that you love so dearly that's going to hurt you. But that's in terms of the energy you've given out as well. So, you know, my pal number fives, you guys have a great one. As well as, you know, prosper, live, be proud, you're strong. Not many individuals can come out of, you know, having betrayals, including the hardships that, are, that come naturally, unfortunately, because of people that are envious of your success including you know just being a hater so you know just understand your worth don't let anyone you know fucking throw you off or try to go ahead and lessen it because at the end of the day look if you know who you are at the end of the day you fucking won all right not many people can say they know who they are not people can really say they really divin in deep into like their identity and then you know stand in that power as well no they go ahead and conform to the little box their family wants or what society wants them to be and then they stay in it and then they you know they think they're happy they think it's okay but in reality they know that they're living a false lie so while you're living in your authentic truth they have to go ahead and pretend to be someone they're not so me being my authentic truth i'm pretty fucking happy like i i know people are always like oh you know you're probably like faking it or like like you really think in my household i would lie about my identity that's literally like like even i would fucking fake it in order to go ahead and appease people but honestly um it got to the point where i couldn't fake it anymore i knew who the fuck i was i wasn't gonna allow anybody to tell me who i was because they don't even know who they are at the end of the day i know who i am because i've actually 
literally sat with myself as well as done the healing shadow work including you know calling to question my own identity and what i feel comfortable with as well as who i was I, even i knew i was i remember in high school i remember i told my sister i was asexual and she literally denied it like fuck bro that was really fucked up but it's just like she literally like said i wasn't okay and that like i wasn't broken asexual people are not broken people asexual people just know that they don't really like feel sexual attraction towards another individual and i get how people can see that is crazy but it's just like okay imagine going to the museum you you could find the art beautiful right you could find it appeasing doesn't mean you want to literally like f it like the majority of people out here do like i don't really i can't really believe that you look at an individual and you're like oh i really want to like what like come on y'all like <laughs> are y'all okay but i guess that's from a sexual point of view not from another individual that experienced um i guess a large amount of sexual attraction so that's in terms of your sexuality and my sexuality and how we view the world differently so you understand that it's like there can be two entire different perspectives and you know we both can't be wrong because at the end of the day we are seeing it from our own identities all right so instead of focusing on who is right we should focus on what is right but other than that like if you do identify as asexual like literally own that shit because a lot of people will tell you don't know what you're talking about you're too young but I literally found myself identifying as it again because I knew who I was back in the day. I knew who the fuck I was. I knew what I identified as. And you know, people will literally go ahead and deny that as well as try to throw you off and you know, try to convince you otherwise. But no, stand in that fucking power, state your boundaries because people, weird, weird ass people will try to break it. You know, even I had like, I feel like an older coworker friend I told I was asexual too and like she even told me like oh you don't know like you don't, you're too young like no I know dude <laughs> I, I fucking know but it's just like you know at the end of the day like it says more about them than me and like they're controlling and how they view me you know it's just like sorry that I'm not like you like and I'm not meaning that in the sense of like oh you're fucking wrong and you know you gotta fix yourself no Alright, you probably feel that way about me, but I don't feel that way about you, alright? If you identify how you identify, cool, but I identify how I identify. And you know, like I said, we will have different perspective and viewpoints, but at the end of the day, we should focus on what is right, not who is right. So you guys, have a great one, and I'll catch you in the next video.